is ready for the new children. I think they're aware that they're completely wrecked. Right. Right. No white. It was very, very weird because I felt like it's no longer with us. One day I was playing rugby and I got really, really hurt after a game. And the next day I wasn't able to stand up, walk, you know, uh, move my neck. It was terrible. So my dad told me that there was a guy on, on our neighborhood who was supposedly able to heal. He said that he, he was not going to heal me. He said basically that I was going to heal myself only if I believe it. He started waving his hand on the parts where I was really, really sore. My neck, my finger. And it was very, very weird because I felt like a scanner. And he was not even touching me and I felt like this energy. I don't know, it was something very weird. He started putting pressure with his three fingers on my back and the temperature started changing from cold to warm. It was incredible. In, in five minutes, all the pain that I had was gone. According to research presented in August 2005 by the University of Chicago, children born in the beginning of the 1980s are showing two newly identified genes. These two genes, called microcephalin and ASPM, are thought to regulate brain growth and appear to have undergone strong natural selection since the human and chimpanzee lineages split between 5 million and 7 million years ago. Only 70% of these children have one of these genes, while the other 30% show both. Does this percentage represent a new stage in human evolution, or is it evidence of some other natural phenomenon? These individuals are known as the new children. The new children have been labeled in ways such as indigos because of the supposed color of their auras and crystals because some say they are highly developed and so forth. The new children are a group of intuitive children. They began being seen in great numbers beginning about 1978. They're all psychic children. They all have the ability to uh, heal on some level. They can see people who are no longer with us. I realized I was different from a very early age with many supernatural occurrences happening. Psychic abilities, abilities to see what hasn't happened yet. I put the hand over the pain and like an angel comes, I don't know what he is, he puts the hand over your hand and it makes the pain go away, which is laughing. I can tell how someone's feeling even if I'm not talking to them or I can pick up on people's energy just like that. I can tell if someone's intentions are good or bad. If my mom is mad, then um, her aura will turn completely red. red. No whites, no blues, no nothing. Just red. Skeptics might argue that the whole topic gives false hope to parents of children with mental disorders. However, 30% of the children match standard IQ test scores of 150 to 160 while the IQ of the average person falls between 90 and 110, and the classification of genius begins around 130. This is an unprecedented leap in intelligence, with no genetic markers to account for it. So, if three out of 10 children have these genes, why don't we see them? Indigo children have been diagnosed quite frequently with ADD or ADHD, and uh, of course medical solution to that is to medicate the children and the medication is really making them lose their life's purpose what they came here to do they are no longer able to be sensitive and they, they just they lose the whole essence of what it is to be an indigo when they're on medication crystal children are frequently diagnosed with being autistic or having Asperger syndrome and I think the main cause of this is the fact that the children they learn to talk a lot later than normal kids because they have telepathic abilities and they don't need to speak to their parents to let them know what's going on, their parents just know. 
And when they go out in the world and they have other caregivers, they start to think there's something wrong with this child because he's not talking. But in his home life or her home life, she didn't need to speak because her parents just knew what the child needed. If these children have intellectual potential, why isn't it reflected in our society? I think the educational system in America limits each individual because it, it forces them to only learn certain bits of each category without allowing them to choose what they want to learn. They make children apply themselves to a very stringent set of rules and criteria in order to succeed in school that not every children knows how to apply themselves to even if they're very, very intelligent. I don't think the educational system in America um, is ready for the new children. I think they're aware that there are new children, that there is a difference in some of the children that are coming through their halls. I think they quickly need to adapt to allowing these children to have input to take part in the demo democratic process within the school walls. In the sixth grade, I felt it necessary to read the entire code of conduct for the county just so I know what the rules and guidelines are. I have no issue following them, it's just I need to make sure that the adults go along with them as well. What does the future hold for this generation? The new children are here on earth to raise the consciousness of everybody living here. They're going to do this by bringing God's love and their unique gifts to everybody. And just by being here, they're going to cause a ripple effect and people are going to begin to love again. I want to be a mad scientist and a veterinarian because I think being a mad scientist and a veterinarian because you can find out medicines for, that's good for the pets. I think my ultimate goal in life is to spread knowledge of what's going around in our communities, in America, and in the world and to let them know what they should do to help improve the structure of what's going on around them. I think parents of new children also need to give them a very solid foundation, um, a lot of affection, a lot of direct attention. It's a busy time, you know, these times raising children, but it's important to, to very much focus on them and listen to them at every age and know that their opinions are valid no matter what they're talking about. Many believe that this phenomenon is not unique to our times. Spiritual leaders throughout history could be examples of the same phenomenon. Others will argue that the massive numbers of new children being born with these abilities represents a new step in human evolution. Only time and research will give us a definitive answer.